でもよかった。Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge Witch on the Holy Night. Sorry, in, in der, wir sind ja gerade im vermutlich großen Finale und in der letzten Folge hat Sojiro Beo im Kampf besiegt. Die Frage ist jetzt, was Toko jetzt machen wird, weil ich glaube nicht, dass sie irgendwie Risiken eingehen möchte. Sojiro muttered unmoving perhaps because of the pain in his broken arms. He did not look at Aoko. Instead, his gaze was focused on Alice, who was lying prone some way away. Orko thought he looked lonely. She asked, spurring him on. They were mere steps from each other, close enough to touch hands. The quiet voices carried in the stillness. <laughs> She was not joking. So she turned away from her slightly, shaking his head. いや、さっきはちょっと意識が飛んだようなんだけど。He Urko's voice had a slight tinge of annoyance. So she responded. だって、ようやく約束が守れた。そっちだけが約束を守ってるのに、こっちは果たせなかっただろう。それがずっと気になっていたんだ。その機会があって、本当に良かった。His relief ex his relief expressed itself as a small but heartfelt smile. Arko listened astonished. For a moment she could not recall what promise Sochi was talking about. When she, when she remembered what he was talking about, what he, she had told him all that time ago in the museum park, her mind went blank. He proposed the deal, but in the end he hadn't been of any use. It must have been eating away at him this entire time. Arko had considered the agreement binding, but only for herself. She muttered in disbelief. Sergio gave a nod and, a affirm and affirmed with a tiny voice. <laughs> the promise was granted. As if listening to a confessional, Erko stayed silent. She could not find the words to say, anyway. Sojo proved ever the enigma. Taking shots at trivial promise so seriously and speaking so sincerely about something so basic. She could not wrap her head around how he had been how he had beaten a werewolf. But his personality? That was the true that was the true mystery. It was no use trying to figure that out now. To Aoko Azaki, he was really wrapped in an enigma, wrapped in a conundrum. それじゃあ、借りは返したから帳尻はゼロだ。これで貸し借りはなしだぞ、青崎。So <laughs> said lightly, perhaps attempting to break the silence. Normally this would have been passed her by. Normally this would have passed her by, but she was... But she saw his kindness for what it was. 貸しがついたのはこっちの方よ。これじゃあ、どうやって返していいかわからないじゃない。So <laughs> she nodded in, her, in happy agreement. それより、青崎の足、なんか塞がってるな。さ、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
Resigning herself, she reached out to Sojiro. Ich wusste es, but I never reached this. A small bell trimmed. A line of wind wiped through the air. It cut through his waist, like a, like a guillotine. Ich wusste es. Und ich gehe mal davon aus, dass ihr ähm, Mystique, beziehungsweise ihr ähm, äh, die, das, was sie, äh, das, was von in der Aosaki-Familie weitergegeben wird, äh, was sie wahrscheinlich von ihrem Großvater erlernt hat, hat äh, die Fähigkeit ist, die Tote, Toten wieder zurückzuholen. Das würde nämlich zu dem passen, was am Anfang von vom Spiel passiert ist. Und jetzt wird und jetzt ist halt quasi noch Zeit genug, um halt die Toten wieder zurückzuholen. Da am Anfang hat, konnten die Katzen halt nicht gerettet werden, weil zu viel Zeit verstrichen ist. What were those things dropping down, dropping before our eyes? Ako could not remember who they belong to. So, Shiro. Ich habe sowas, ich habe mit sowas ja tatsächlich schon gerechnet gehabt. That used to be his arm, right? Uh, that used to be his name, right? The name of whoever lay in the red snow in front of her. His face now rested on the ground beneath her chin. The smell of viscera assaulted her nostrils. A river of blood flowed from what used to be a stomach. It happened so fast. Too fast for a mind to process, in fact. Her only solace was he probably did not suffer. How could she think that so calmly, especially after what she had witnessed? Her blood boiled at her own stupidity. Which begs the question, how should she treat the one who did this? Okay, jetzt läuft, jetzt läuft der Oko Amok. She used, she had used all her anger on herself. She had none left to give anyone else. But this hatred was hers and hers alone. Her problem was this. Could she muster the emotion from this drought of anger? She was not sure. But the thought of hunting them down made her smile unconsciously in anticipation. Uh, um ihr um um dieses um das einzusetzen was Magie übersteigt ich ich habe gerade den Begriff dafür nicht mal im Kopf N, äh, braucht es braucht es ja irgendeinen Trigger ja und das wird wahrscheinlich erst der Trigger sein dass Aoko das einsetzt gehe ich mal von aus Aoko turned to the old school being to where Toko was standing with her arm out in front of her She had used the same rune mage craft she used against Aoko and Alice, except Sojiro had no magic crest. Toko's amber eyes were narrowed, staring intensely at the fallen corpse. As to what she might have been feeling, Aoko could not care less. Even if Toko felt regret, Aoko would never forgive her, for as long as she drew breath. Toko was not speaking to Aoko, but to the dead body. There was no response. No clouds of breath. Coming to terms that he was truly dead, Arko pushed herself up to her feet. Facing her sister in the distance, Arko spoke quietly. She turned away from Sojiro and stared at Arko. They stood far apart. Farther apart than their positions made them seem. Though there was nothing left to say, the two of them exchanged words in respect of the fact they were one sister. Ah, ま、術刻印という私の切り札はこの通りで、人狼という あなたが敗北を認めたなんて勝手に思い上がるんだから。本来ならそうなるんだけど、あなたがそんなに諦めがいいのなら、この町に戻ってきはしないものね。本当に甘かった。It was clear to Toko that Aku was trying to suppress her emotions. Aku was right though. Her sister had counted on Beowulf to succeed. As matches, no matter what cards Aoko or Alice had in their hands, they were helpless against the werewolf. But then Sochi had shown up and Toko couldn't win as long as he was around. Unfortunately, though he had stopped the werewolf, he had been defenseless against the mage. So she had to kill him. With Sochi out of the way, 
No one could hold Theo back. It would take time for him to recover, but as long as his wounds were only mental, they could be overcome. Alice and Orko could try to attack again before he recovered, but Alice was being kept in check by the poison, so Toko still had the advantage. Stalemate still. The battle would drag on. Unless Orko were to use it. Oh, this. he is richtig. Powder and snow began to whirl around. The air around her waved. It was magical that suspended all that was mystical. The gate to miracles beyond human comprehension ready to show itself. Toko released the crest maintaining the field. With that, her grandfather would be freed and the barriers around Misaki would be restored, which was not what Toko wanted, but it was that of her fate her life. The crest at her disposal were now twice as powerful as her sister's. Arko guessed at this new threat with her eyes, mm, half closed. None of this was her concern. Far removed from the situation, she was searching for something hidden deeper inside herself, desperate to reach it. That was an odd feeling, like picking up algae. It was not the fire of emotion. It was not solid, nor great. It must have been people meant by rising to the occasion. Abandoning it so itself, thought itself. Aoko held on to that feeling as she stared at her enemy. She spoke softly, yet more lo loudly than the scream. Focusing and pausing into the dim crest on her right arm, she weaved the words together. Oh, that sieht ziemlich geil aus. A single incantation. A final heartfelt farewell. A brilliant blue colored magic taking time back to when a certain someone had been blessed. To put it simply, Magecraft is human wisdom. It is the world as we know it. Magic is a singularity that exists beyond other, either of those. At the beginning, the first changed all. Next, the second recognized many. In answer, the third showed the future. That the fourth concealed itself. And the final fifth had long, lo had long since lost its significance. Someone once said, had it only ended at the third. Magecraft is a study of history, feats of our making, and life orbiting the planet. But true magic is the providence of a god beyond the heavens. Why do those who stand on earth, on the earth, extol the virtues of miracles beyond humankind and the planet? This was an undeniable sin. Magic was the enemy of humanity. That is why. Those who obtain a new magic are killed by the red shadow. <laughs> Das hat es mit dem roten Schatten auf sich. Ey, wir haben aber noch nicht herausgefunden, was es mit der. was es mit der. was mit Social Scheiß auf sich hatte. Arcus White ran at the crew and high above the winter skies. The air began to fracture, turning the scenery into broken glass. Toko wondered whether she, uh, she should fight or flee. She decided to try and keep her feelings in check to see if it's true. But the object of her obsession for so many years was right in front of her, Re rationality was slipping from her grasp. Both of their fates were now uncertain. Toko had an overwhelming advantage when it came to her quest in the Terran. When it came to true magic, however, if the Aosaki magic was anything like Alice Kornji's fairy tale monsters, their mage strength was not a part of the equation. At this point, it was Toko against magic itself. And there was no winning against truth. The, tra the transcendence and in the idiosyncrasy of true magic rendered things like Magecraft irrelevant. Dang. Toko stared at her sister, wondering if she could actually use it. Her proclamation lacked conviction. She had raised her voice, but that was out of discipline. It had not been the arrogant conviction of to sacrifice someone else for her own game. Having not been chosen to inherit it, Toko could not imagine what the magic in her sister was. 
only that it was a force violent enough to change the world. No human might could withstand the audacity required to make an enemy of the world itself. Especially not someone as indecisive as, as her sister. The power of magic would, sur would surely cripple her. Feeling talk with Edna, Arco doubted herself. She could not help but hesitate. Terror gripped her heart tighter. She could not run away forever. Her hesitation and terror meant she would never forgive herself for stopping now. Closing her eyes, she pushed herself into the final stage. Oh, this is schon sehr geil inszeniert. Time stopped, like a light being switched off. She submerged herself in her own darkness. Everything froze, only she moved. Everything around her disappeared as she passed a limitless stream of stars. And as soon as she did, she wanted to disappear into the empty thoughtlessness place she arrived in without any answers. Not again. The red shadow will surely come this time. Suddenly, I saw a new memory. Possibly because I used another to make the trade for. I heard a familiar yet new sound. I wish for nothing. I seek nothing. Only to fuse with the consciousness. That hurtles backward in time to zero. The sound. The bitter sad meaningless pulse m pulls me by my hair. But I have to resist. The red ghost was always going to be my biggest hurdle. I must forget the value of life. I must forget the dignity of death. The sound persists. It's got nothing to do with this journey. It's just an external distraction. And yet, I think I finally understand. I know what noise has been making me so uneasy. What the... The unsettling whispers were directed at me. Or perhaps the red shadow was perplexed. By the quiet soul listening to it. It glares at me, its eyes full of hatred. How could I be so unprepared? Don't tell me. You can't be serious. You're going to turn me into your prey for that? That is your everything. You have nothing else. Okay, sie benutzt den Red Shadow. Sie benutzt jetzt den roten Schatten, um damit ihre Magie zu betreiben, oder was? The effect of rewinding the decision to never say never. His prime, his meaningless life. She negated it. She used her superior power to negate that sound which was an absolute rule to him. Just brushed it aside, like it was a corp weave. The sound disappeared and new one replaced it. I wish for nothing. I want nothing. A pure obedient heart. That's why you get nothing. A life of falsehood led by affirmation. Ich bin immer noch der Meinung, dass sie Sojiro wahrscheinlich jetzt gerade wieder zurück ins Leben holt. My legs move towards the future, but they stop. Chains of plans, I'm taking a different path. Nothing's changed. It's just something... It's just something has made me real mad. How can I put it? Auch das mit der Uhr klingt für mich so, als würde, die, als würde der, sie die Zeit zurückdrehen. You call this the past, you idiot? If I don't complain about something to someone, I will explode. Even if it's just to the voice, or to he who hears it. Or to the part of me who just stays quiet and watches. Or to the one who did that to him. With no answer I open my eyes. Oh, we got it. Erko released everything she had dragged up. As for what was there, or what she saw, she could not remember. All she held on to was the fury that was the fury that burdened in her heart. Pushed on by something she did not know what she opened the door to match it. Oh, yes, that is extremely geil. The change was extraordinary. Beneath her, the snow vanished, replaced by a small patch of lush. This ground had never existed under the frozen blanket, it had been rewritten into a new landscape. The very elements rejected her, 
Yes, it's the word itself was fighting back. The electrical discharge left at her body. This miracle threatened to destroy the world. The world had to protect itself. It moved to expand her. Pain caused her very every cell, trying to tear away her consciousness. But she did not falter. All the pain and this loneliness was to take her, her to the root. Ever since inheriting true magic, she had suffered and had this torture time and time again. She contended against the voiceless, voiceless protest of the cosmos. The burn engulfed her in The burn engulfed her in a and nerves in flame. And then... Light. She finally understood. She remembered why she came back and what she wanted to scream. That sensing voice told her to stop. At the edge of oblivion, her hand touched the true form of magic. The snarling red shadow was there, telling her it was no use. So much doubt, so much fear. But such things mean nothing to her, to me. I don't care about the magician's obligations or the destruction of mankind. I'm sick and tired of hearing about it. I only have one reason for doing anything right now. I just... God, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. I just want to save him. Yup. Hold me right there, she's really fast to look. No. She brings him to... She brings him to his life. I was like, I was like, I all is not sane, yet all shall be right. A blue ribbon just up around her. Casting aside her doubts and sorrow, the magician played her trick upon the world. Oh, boah, sieht das geil aus. Boah, das ist so... <laughs> das ist so geil. Boah. Childhood memories were overwritten. Ooh. Where first appeared as far as I could see. Brighter than snow, they rippled like a wave across the world, devouring it. Oh, that sieht ziemlich sick aus. Das sieht. Ooh, sieht das geil aus. Timeless. Wow. Order's found to ruin. What was declared had come had come to be. In this time and place alone, the fifth mage the fifth magic made itself known. Oh, is this guy? Is this sick? Hey, I make an anime of an arm. In the blink of an eye, the snow the snowy clearing had transformed. The sea of fully bloomed red flowers blanketed the ground. Only the dear. Yeah, okay, I möchte ein vernünftigen Anime davon haben, so würde ich sagen. Only the dilapidated school building and the bare winter trees signified the this was the original world. The once cold wind now blew with a pleasant warmth across the landscape. Even the night sky was once again teeming with stars. If one reached out, one could almost touch them. It was a mix of comfort and solitude, quite enough to carry the sound of insects flying through the air. A scene far removed from the impurity and grief of humans. A world with nothing, yet, yet one that needed nothing. It was his most precious memory. The winter tundra changed into a spring meadow. Arko's so-called true magic confused Toko. Sure, it was pleasing to the eye, but she wanted to see something less idyllic. Arco's play was clearly no small feat, but the surrounding manner had not changed. Better to be confused, though, than deal with something like Alice Kornji's flat snack. The only changes seemed to be the flow for it and Arco's appearance. She seemed to have received some enchantment to her physical form, but it would never be enough to match Torko. 
circle set with hint of annoyance. <laughs> Arko began walking through the sea of flowers. But she was not heading toward Toko. Arko's foot sent a wave of unease for Toko. Her sister's voice seemed different somehow. It was mostly the same in pitch, so it had to be the tone. No, that was not the same too. Uh, that was something was off, could it be? It was n then Toko noticed something else that had changed. Not just Aoko and the clearing. The severed body lying at Aoko's feet, it was now who? Corpse reanimation, wound healing? It did not look like Aoko had used a significant formula. And besides, regenerating a body did not bring it back to life. Since the dawn of time, even true magic has never been able to bring back the dead. But the body of the boy behind him, behind Orko, was moving. It was breathing, like it was taking a nap. <laughs> Before she could think of an answer, Toko realized that ha Toko realized what had seemed out of place to her before. Arko's mannerism appeared beyond her years. Her appearance had changed ever so slightly. But beyond then, there had been a change from within. By the time Toko arrived at that seemingly impossible conclusion, Arko had closed the distance between them. Oh. Arko raised her left hand to her eye level. Oof! Toko would see no. Here, the magic energy generating inside Arko. It was sound Toko had never heard before. Arko only possessed single function, low grade circuits, no better than any other third rate mage. So she generated magic energy at a much lower rate than Toko. However, this speed was absolutely, was absolutely quick, moving even faster than the blood pumping through her body. Oh. Magecraft could vibrate, but how in the head were they act? Well, the activated magic check was audible. Even the association had never heard of such a thing. Spurred into action by the sudden dread she felt, Toko hurriedly carved wounds into the air. Toko summoned the divine protection of victory, Tur, to surround herself with a barrier which was further enhanced by a crest. Oh, she had the. Uh, Das finde ich aber auch interessant, diese, sie hat da so eine Art, ähm, äh, ich weiß jetzt nicht, wie, äh, ich komme jetzt nicht aufs Wort, hang it no mind, auch okay, hält der Arm steady, not moving, not moving it up, and to strike the target directly. Arko commanded herself successfully. This was beyond magecraft. In just a few words, she had fired 20 magic bullets. Like a meteor shower, the bullets smashed through the rocket-proof mm, rune barrier, as well as Toko's spell woven coat. <laughs> the protective runes lining her coat streamed. They would not be able to take another barrage like that, and she had already taken internal injuries. She loathed to admit it, but Aoko vastly outclassed Toko in terms of raw power. Even harder to admit was that her sister probably had not even brought out the big guns yet. I would say, at this point, I end this episode with this cliffhanger. Aoko hat, hat endlich hat ihre wahre Magie gezeigt. <lacht> Und ehrlich, das ist ganz schön geil gemacht, dass da abgeht gerade. Ich würde mich so über einen vernünftigen Anime da hören von dem Spiel freuen. Das wäre so geil. Ja. Naja, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.